on orange alert again, I hear, as I cross the East River and the winter sun beams its blinding white light across the jagged surface of the water. Orange alert. Orange alert. So am I to be on the lookout now for a suitcase that ticks? For a turbaned man, a veiled woman, a shoulder belt of rockets? Shall I suspect all Muhammads today? Or shall I envision my escape through the bathroom window, the office hall, through the shaken streets as ash rains down and my morning coffee gets cold? I am so tired of terror. Orange alert, really? How about a russet alert, a coral alert, a sienna alert, a burnt ochre vermilion alert, a salmon pumpkin persimmon alert, give me a saffron alert, take me to the rugged mountains of Iran and let's get down on our knees and pluck the saffron threads from purple crocuses that paint a belt out to the blue sea. Let's stand over a burlap sack stuffed with it and inhale its aroma of honey, hay, and steel. Saffron alert, give me one glimpse of the powdery grains, the color of flames, of my great-grandmother's mortar and pestle stained a luminous yellow, of Cleopatra's tinted bathwater, or the saffron robes of Buddhist monks meditating as the first sliver of sun appears on the horizon. Saffron, the color of illumination. Give me a saffron alert. Or give me an orange alert, but make it a citrus alert. <laughs> Navel, Valencia, Satsuma, blood, glowing spheres of trapped sunlight I hold in my palm. Their yielding skin and the fragrant spray of summer wakes me through the winter. Desert lime, clementine, tangerine, citron, mandarin, pomelo. Um, wait, desert lime, clementine, and citron. Tangelo, pomelo, <laughs> mandarin, the juice is dripping down my fingers. This is a citrus alert. And if tomorrow is a red alert, then make it a ruby alert, a pomegranate alert, a full-bodied Bordeaux alert, a blood alert, our blood alert, this magical medium pumping through us, delivering oxygen and amino acids and glucose to our muscles and our minds and our hearts. This is a red alert. But red alert is maximum terror alert, they say, again and again. So what am I to do now? Shall I avoid all close quarters, elevators, buses, and subways? Shall I walk over two bridges to get to work? Or shall I stay at home, lock my door, sit on the sofa, and consider the tears of a child 6,000 miles away? Just orphaned. Streaks of red dripping down an Afghani man's arm, an American soldier's arm. Children sleepwalking in bodies rigid with trauma. This is a red alert, for who experiencing such agony wouldn't consider revenge? Red alert, orange alert, human alert. Under that veil, a woman. Under that turban, that cap, that beard. Under that skin, the color of pyramids, the color of lions, the color of sand dunes is a soul. And under that veil, the color of crows, the color of tar, the color of the sky on a moonless night is a soul. And under that ink blue business suit walking up the bone white stairs of the Capitol is a soul. And under that U.S. Army camouflage, the color of my skin is a soul. Alert me, alert me to that possibility as I cross the sacred, wretched, swirling river.